Hi everybody, it's Arsenal 16 here and today I'm going to show you um, my tripod pack, tri-up pack I mean. So basically, just like little fishies, fish things. And they turn into stuff like shrimps, you get loads of different seeds. Um, yeah, so basically, all it is, it's a little tank. I've already set it up. None of them have hatched yet. Well, I'll show you in a minute first. Yeah. Right, I'm going to turn the camera around, so, so I have now turned the camera around. So now you can see the box properly. And I got that with it to put in the bottom of my tank, but, like, I lost it, so I put some different things in. See the instructions. Tells you what to do, there are all the things that you get. Plastic tank, plastic volcano, plastic lid, plastic L-shaped pot, plastic gate, try up eggs, try up food spoon, see from bottle, bag of pink glow stones, dinosaur skeleton, bag of gravel, bag of sand, grass seeds and compost. And that's what it would look like when you fully finished. So it says on here. Bottled water. But I don't recommend bottled water because the first time I done it, I had to buy loads of bottles and it cost £6 to fill it right to the top and it didn't even work. And that was a waste of time. So, yeah. So, what else are you going to do? You will get a lamp to keep it nice and warm. Look, there's one. That one's called the Fairy Shrimp. And that's one. That's an adult version of the ones that I got. Then basically that's the instruction manual. You can read that like yourself. But the one thing I re recommend to do is don't like. Oh, what was I gonna say? I've got a bad memory. Uh, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, don't use bottled water. Don't use bottled water because it doesn't work, and then it's a waste of money. So basically. First, I've got my whole tropical park. So, this is what you just can't tell. Maybe if I bang the table, put it to wobble. Oh, that's water. Then that's the volcano. And that's the glowstone look. If I do that, you might be able to see it glowing. Wait one sec. Gonna try and get it to glow. Well, it does glow in the dark because I can see it, but I don't think the camera could see it. So that stays on there because this volcano here, that is where they sleep. That's full of water as well. It's like a little waterfall thing. So that's water. So in there, the sleep because of the light that comes down there. <clears throat> then that turns into grass. You get that's where the grass seeds go, and it's just a little compartment that you put in. And that grass gets very long, so you have to cut it every now and then. So you do get a gravel and everything with it, but these stones there, um, because the first time I done it, the seeds, the uh, eggs didn't work. It's 2014 now, the last time I'd done it was in 2013, and that's when I actually got this. Um, so it didn't work then, then me and my sister today just decided to get it out. So yeah, so I didn't have any gravel or sand left, so I just got some stones out my garden out there. So I just got some stones, and then, because I don't have one of them, I did, but I lost it. Um, I put one of my skeletons in. Then my lucky frog thing and a fossil. So basically that's that part with the bedroom, grass and the outer living room area place thing. Then this here is the nursery. That just keeps it warm so I just need to take that off. All of them is eggs and food mixed up. 
and that will be about 27 triops. So when they grow, they'll be about that small. Literally, they'll be tiny. I won't be able to see them. So that will be like that. And when they grow, when they all grow, I just need to pull that up and let them pull that little gate up there. Let them all out into the big area for them to explore. So basically this is just keeps them warm. And so this is day one, episode one. And there's a few other things I need to tell you. You get your food, which is not for humans, for the triops that you put in when you first get it. When you put it in, don't mix it up or anything because that will disturb the eggs. So just like sprinkle it in a bit and that will be fine and put that on top. And it needs to be at room temperature. And room temperature is supposed to be like, well, I don't know what it's supposed to be. It's normally 18 in my house, but it should be 22. So what I've done is I've put that over, which you get with it. But then I've opened all my blinds because normally I have them shut. To let some light in so that made it very hot today so there should grow soon normally it takes three four days up to a week sometimes it takes two weeks sometimes it takes one person it's took three weeks but it's worth the wait hopefully mum will grow in a few days because some people's actually grow overnight because my friends has grown overnight before, so maybe this might take one, two, three days. If not, they'll take longer. And the good thing is that if your eggs don't work, they'll give you a refund and give you more eggs. So there's one more thing left is... Oh, crap. It isn't here right now. One sec. that I'm just coming back in here one sec right, it's that because that was a fan you need a fan or a very powerful light to put over the eggs because they need to be very warm and at night it's actually quite cold <coughs> so if you do that then your eggs will go grow faster and everything will be fine you, they'll be swimming around we get up to about that big so they'll be swimming around like that swim 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 sometimes they do eat each other the big ones eat the little ones that's why you have this little gate here so when they hatch I'll let them out into the open area then I'll get some more eggs and put them in there wait for them to grow then when the adults I'll open it up and let them out into the open area so basically that's it you get your thing with it but this is an actual thing, because again I've lost it, because I lose a lot of things, it's just my kitchen one, just to like get all the little bits out, if you can see that bit there, I use it to get all the bits out, and then I just put them in a cup, like that, so basically, if you think of it, it is quite hard to look after them, but it's still quite cool, and if you want, you get a carrot and put it in where the eggs are but lots of people do this and they eat the carrot but the only thing is the water turns orange and then you'll have to clean it and that's very bad so I'm waiting until the adults because every single day I have to get this do that get about that much water out and then put it in the sink or that cup because when they're adults, well, when they're born that's what I'm going to have to do because the water level will get low and low until there's no water at all and when there's no water that's when they'll start to walk around, they'll dry up and that's when they'll become fully grown adults but then I'll need to fill it back up again if I want more eggs. <coughs> Sorry about that, I've got a bad cough. Then you can put them eggs in a container. Like a little pot like that, or something like that. 
So it's never been successful for me before, but well, this is the second time, and I'm trying again, and again, and again, and I'm not giving up. So I'll be one minute right. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna be doing a, a weekly thing, like day one, day two, day three, day four, day five, day six, day seven, day eight, day nine, day ten, like that. And I forgot to tell you one thing. They grow to adults in about two weeks. So if they're not working by two weeks, then you've got dodgy eggs. So, yeah. I just want to look at the camera all day. I'm bored. So, make sure you watch my next video next, because I'm going to put a me on the trampoline video. Which is going to be very weird. It's going to be me dancing to music on the trampoline. So see you next time on the Triumph Weekly View. Thank you. Bye.